Here I want to show you what I did until now. As you remember, we have a cable here that's going to use for the stove. That's an electrical stove here, it's a purchase. Okay, and here's the cable. What I want to show you here, how I actually attach it, you see. This cable is going to attach here to the stud and here. The way I did it like that, first I want to have some reminder of the wires, of the cables, in case I need something in the future. So it's nice to have a piece of it, you know. And second, it's easy to work with it like that. And this, this cable is not very elastic, let's say it like that. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually install this box, this electrical box. As you can see here, it's 4x4. Four four. And this electrical box, if you look at it, you have here a screw, green screw. That is the, actually the ground. And the way I'm using this box, the metal box, there are two reasons that you have to use a metal box. One of them, it's a ground, because if you're using plastic box, you really cannot ground the box. And here you actually have 220 volt and also 50 amps. The other problem, if you have a short, what's going to happen, it might be that the plastic box will disintegrate it and get caught in fire, while the electrical box like that with metal will sustain the heat. So you really want to, what you want to do, you want to use uh, this kind of a box. And as you can see here, there's half an inch, three quarter of an inch, and half an inch that we need to knock down. And I will knock down here in the center. I really want to use the center all the time. I don't want to use this side. And I used to use three quarter of an inch. If you flip it like that, you can see three quarter of an inch here. And I will use really the center here. Uh, because it's nice to work with it if it's in the center. Um, and what I want to talk about now, where I'm going to locate it here. You can see I cut here the sheet rock because I really want to put a new sheet rock here. Uh, I'm remodeling here. So you really need to put it not, you know, this box. As you can see this box here, I want to put it here. The height of it cannot reach more than 8 inch from the floor. Uh, why, why is that? And let me show you very soon why is that. Uh, it really needs to be maximum 4 inch from the floor and its height should be uh, 4 inch. So it's actually maximum the height of it. It's 8 inch. You can see 4 inch from the floor here. Another 4 inch here. The box is 4 inch by 4 inch. So it's actually the top of it going to be 8 inch from the floor. Okay, and why is that? So here is the back of the oven. As you can see here, let me show you. And this oven actually have a place here. You see the cable will come here. And that's, you see the back of the oven or the stove have to be attached to the wall. Now this cable, the plug is really heavy. So the plug should go when you press the the oven or the stove to where the flow the plug should go inside here okay and the the height of that from this to here is really eight eight inch so it's a standard so really you need to put it lower as you can so four inch above the floor here okay here I'm going to install it 4 inch above the floor, so the height of it is going to be 8 inch. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. Before I'm going to install this box here that you can see, I just want to talk about this outlet here. You can see this outlet, have, it's a little bit bigger here, you can see it's an half an inch. And for it, we're going to connect a plug, which is going to be at least 1 or 2 inch. So that's why you need the plug and all these uh, box to go under the stove. That's why I have to install it uh, at maximum 4 inch above the floor. So the way it will work is this one will go here over it and both of them will go here to this box and they will stick here and that's the way it's working. This 4 inch, this 4 screws that you can see here 
to attach this outlet to himself to that to this cover and both of them together will come here and be attached to this box so that's the way it should work so the first thing as you can see here what I need to do is I need to remove I need to knock down this cover here to let the conduit to go inside it I, I'm using three quarter of an inch conduit okay so this is the most important we have to remove this cover first before we install it and after that it's going to be impossible to remove so Knock it a little bit using a couple of screws here. As you can see, it's already inside, already removed, but this piece is really tricky. So you can see that one is being really removed already already removed here so this is the piece if you can see here that I remove okay it was here so this is the other piece here it's very easy to remove just you flip it here back and forward it's it's not very sharp so you don't need to be afraid but you can see here the other one and what you have here you have a three quarter of an inch a hole that the conduit will go here and we work with it. So here as you can see is the hole and here is the conduit is in my hand okay and the washer of the conduit so what I have to do is I have to put this conduit inside the hole as you can see here and then if I flip it I'm going to put the washer here okay so here is the washer and I just going to I have to close it must be closed tight. I have to use flyer to close it tight. But what I want to say is that you need to really install the conduit before you're going to install this box uh, in the wall where is the stud there. So that's very important to install it before. You can do it after if you want, but you know it's far easier to install it before. And what's happening here is you can see this is the conduit, three quarter of an inch conduit. The cable will go through it. The conduit will protect the cable and will also not let them to remove so without conduit what's going to happen the metal will actually create eventually a short because we we'll, we'll cut the wire here it's very sharp this conduit will protect the cable but also attach it strongly to the to the box that it will not move so that's the way you're doing it i'm just going to use plier now to just to attach it strongly here the washer so here I'm actually using these tools, as you can see here, and I really attach it strongly with these tools. Okay, kind of a wrench or something. This is the tools, and I just really, you really want to attach it strong. It's very strong. I attach it very strong. As you can see here, the way it looks. And remember, this screw should be to where the wall. Okay, that you can actually screw them after that using a screwdriver other thing I want to show you here this box that is a 4 inch by 4 inch have holes here each side have two holes okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to attach it like that to the stud with these two holes here I'm going to actually screw it here so that's the way to do it you have to really attach it strongly to this box um, this electrical box or outlet box will not get out of the stud forever okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to actually attach this box here to this stud as you can see it's exactly sitting here next to the sheet work here okay here and i'm going to attach it with two screws actually sheet work screw so before i installing this box i just want to talk about the size of this box is four by four by two inch here so the depth of it, the depth is two inch, and it's four by four. And what I want to show there, there are two holes here, as you can see, that you can actually attach this box to a stud. But here is the most important. You can see here in the back. You can see here where I put it here. Let me show you here. There are holes here, and these holes also have to be approached. They should be attached to a stud. 
Let me show you what I'm doing here. You can see here I'm actually adding another stud here. It's also 2x4, but remember the side of the stud is here. I'm going to attach it and glue it and uh, screw it here. That this box okay, will attach to both stud here. That's very important. It cannot, it cannot really attach only to one stud. It has to be attached to both stud you know, to be stable. So that's why you have heels. These are holes you can see here that you can actually use screw to attach this box to the stud here. So you can see our two studs here and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to actually attach this stud and this stud that I actually put and cut it to see I cut it 45 degrees that I can actually apply here um, screws. Attach it with screws and glue. So I'll show you how I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm actually going to put glue here. It's actually drywall glue with F38 here. As you can see, I'm just going to put glue here on the stud. You can see what I'm doing here? Putting a little bit of glue and then I'm going to also to screw it. It's, it will not move after it will glue to the stud. So I'm, I'm using drywall uh, Glue, but it's also good for wood, so it will work perfectly. Don't worry. Okay, I put I put kind of a liberal amount of glue, as you can see here. I'm going to actually attach it um, to the other stud there. So here's the stud, and here is the other stud. Okay, the new one. I'm just going to put it here and attach it strongly. Now I'm going to attach it also with screws. But remember, when this glue will eventually will dry on the attachment, you can use even just to make sure it's attached properly. And now I'm going to actually use a screw to, to attach it. So here I have a screw that is actually 45 degrees also. And I'm going to use the drill, okay, the drill to drill it. And that's one, I'm going to do another one. So I just want to show you what I did here. I actually screwed with two screws here on the top and one here. I use actually uh, three inch screws uh, to attach this piece of uh, lumber, piece of two by four to the stud here in order to have a support for this box and now what I'm going to do I'm going to put the box here and that's part of the job that you have to do when you actually install a 50 amps um, wire I just want to show you what I did until now you see I actually attached it with one screw in the center here as you can see the black screw here and I'm going to attach another screw here you can see in this kind of uh, uh, angle here, this screw. I'm going to attach it with uh, the drill here. As you can see, let me see if I can make it. So that's uh, what I'm doing. I'm going to put another screw in, the, in this box, it will be attached properly. So after I attach the box here, you can see the electrical box here. So I'm going to use a utility knife to remove the insulation from this cable. So what I'm doing here, I'm actually measuring until here. As you can see, the box here, I'm taking a little bit, maybe a one inch below the box, you see? The height of the box is below the box. So I'm actually here. I can actually start to just remove very easily, as you can see, the insulation here. I can remove it. It's extremely easy to remove. Okay, but what I want to do, I want to really remove it from here until here. So I don't want this piece of insulation here. So really, I just use a utility knife just to cut a little bit here. And don't worry, this, this cable is very difficult to remove, to, to cut it. So this is, that's the insulation, I just can remove it like that now. So, but why I did it? Because 
when I'm going to put it on the conduit, this insulation should be inside the conduit and this should be outside of the conduit, the wires. So that's why I actually cut it exactly here. So I just removed the insulation and I cut it here with the cutter. Okay, you can see this is the ground here. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually put it to the conduit now. See so what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to push this cable okay, inside the conduit here already. You see, I put it here, so I'm just put it here and pull it. Okay, and that's it. Just want to make sure, okay, that the insulation is exactly here in the conduit, but it doesn't get out of the conduit. Okay, so that's the way you're doing it. Here is the ground, as you can see, and the two hot and the neutral. So after you put it, what you're actually doing now, you just attach the conduit. See, there are two screws here that are actually closing them to attach the wire to the conduit. That the wire will never move. Okay, so you attach it quite strongly. And that's it, that's the way you actually install a box for 50 amps. So, uh, a oven, a stove, or any appliance that needs 50 amps. So that's the way it's looking now after our installation done. As you can see the cable going here and it's coming to here. Okay, and here is the conduit. So let me show you from close proximity what's going on. This is the two screws, the three-quarter conduit here. And that's the cable handle, you can see it. And I left like maybe eight to nine inch, a little bit more, 10 inch of uh, wires here. You know, you always still want a little bit more. You can cut it after that, but you really don't want to be without wires. So we're going to adjustment when we're going to connect the outlet to the wires. I will show it 